How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. What we're looking at is this 2019 Chevy Tahoe that we built for the Ramsey, New Jersey Fire Department. <laughs> sound off signals blueprint electrical control system that helps synchronize all the lights gives you different flash patterns in and out of park allows you to dim all the warning lights for improved safety and also gives you other uh, safety features that you would normally have to flip switches for it helps automate that to reduce distractive driving taking a look up top we have a sound off signal enforce 54 inch and in dual color configuration it has the white uh, scene override for your left right alley your takedown uh, up front we have a Go Rhino push bar, and in the grill we have six sound off signal M powers in dual color that do the white override feature. Down below we have our sound off signal N forces with the fog light kit. What we showed you before was the vehicle in park mode, which synchronized all the lights. It shut off our flashing white, so now you can see that the vehicle is in driver response mode. The flash pattern in the light bars changed. We've added white. The pattern in the grill has changed, adding the white into it. And then all the other body lights in the side of it also had white added into it for more warning power. So taking a look at the side of the vehicle, you can see the graphics package that we installed on this. We did this to match the previous vehicle that we did a few years ago. On the front bumper, you can see we have the M powers in tricolor. Underneath the mirrors, we have the in intersectors in dual color. The running board lights, we have uh, M powers that are in tricolor with the white override feature. Uh, the white override feature on the side lights uh, does the alley light, so that way if you're coming up to a scene you're looking for a mailbox, you can turn the white scene on and you can light up the entire side of the street. Um, the white on the running boards also does a steady on feature when you open the door to give you ground lighting so that you can get out and see where you are walking. And then in the back window we have the sound off signal and forces in tricolor. So taking a look at the back of the vehicle, up top we have a sound off signal tricolor enforce stick. This has uh, amber for the arrow, it has white override for reverse and rear scene. All the rear warning lights uh, come on with reverse and then they also have a rear scene function the same as you would have a takedown or alley feature. Um, all that it needs is just an extra button and with the blueprint system it's in there. There's no extra wiring or splicing that you need to do with it. Uh, around the license plate we have dual stacked enforces in tricolor. Uh, we've tied in the parking lights into the blueprint system along with replace the bulbs with a white LED to give them uh, synchronized flashing over the entire back of the vehicle. With the rear hatch open, we have 4-inch M-Powers mounted to the lip to provide additional warning when the hatch is up because it blocks our license plate lights and our rear arrow stick. Uh, we've recessed with special brackets our, uh, their radio speakers into the hatch and then we've given them two sound off signal strip lights to light up the area when they're running command or they're trying to get their gear out. Um, what we've designed for them is a custom gear safe cabinet for this vehicle. It has a passive filtration system to help prevent the occupants from exposure to carcinogens. Um, we have our radio faceplate along with three of their radios. We have their inverter control. We've got 12 volt USB. We've got storage compartments for extinguishers, throw bags, uh, and some other t hand tools. We have a ratcheting magnetic command board so that they can run incidents from the back. Uh, all of our command boards are magnetic dry erase. Taking a look at the back of the cabinet, we've given them an adjustable shelf with the top removed from it so that if they do have taller equipment, they can allow it to go to the full height of the roof. And then we have a removable shelf with an electronics compartment underneath it. And that gives them spot to put their inverter and their radio chassis. And then what you can see is with the bump out of the bottom cubby, uh, it extends into this back electronics compartment. So we cut this shelf to fit around that so it's a flat surface for them. Underneath the rear seat, we've given their distribution center for the main power. So this breaks off and goes into our radio face plate and into our front console. We've given them an inverter for uh, 110 power and then we've installed all their chassis so they have one chassis over there and then they have another set of radio chassis underneath the back for easy service. Okay so looking at the front console that we've designed for them um, we have their three radios, their blueprint controller, cup holders, a small storage bin for pens and other equipment and then we have their portable chargers along with a flashlight mounted to the back. In this vehicle what we've done is we've mounted some of their uh, 
radio speakers to the side of the console and then we've also recessed the other ones into the headliner and then we've also installed our overhead console with their uh, one of their radios that they don't uh, use very often for their police department and we've done a remote mic down on the front console. If you like what you see, check out our website, www.1075vehicles.com, and you can view all of our latest deliveries and our available build options for you. Thanks for checking out our video, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your attention and support. Thank you.